happy day. I want to share a word of God with you and some ways that you can take the words and apply them in speaking great benedictions over your children's lives. So I'm reading actually from the Holman Rainbow Study Bible and I'm in the book of Deuteronomy where Moses' blessings are recorded. And I'm only gonna read some verses and then I'm gonna switch over to sharing how you can customize benedictions for your children. So I'm starting at verse one, Deuteronomy 33. This is the blessing that Moses, the man of God, gave the Israelites before his death. He said, the Lord came from Sinai and appeared to them from Seir. He shone on them from Mount Paran and came with 10,000 holy ones with lighting from his right hand for them. Indeed, he loves the people. All your holy ones are in your hands, and they assemble at your feet. Each receives your words. Moses gave us instruction, a possession for the assembly of Jacob. So he became king in Jeshurun when the leaders of the people gathered with the tribes of Israel. And so he starts off with a blessing um, and a benediction for Reuben and then on to Judah. And I really encourage you to read the entire chapter 33 of Deuteronomy. And according to how you're led, begin to speak these benedictions over your own children, children you love, children you're stewards over. And um, so here's one example. Um, some of your children will be like Asher and dip their feet in oil. And so you could speak over that child. May you dip your feet in oil like Asher. Others of your children will be like Gad and enlarge his own territories and change and choose a ruler favored portion for himself. So you could speak, may you be like Gad and enlarge your own territories and a favorite portion for yourself. Others of your children will enjoy approval laden with the blessings of God. And so you could say, May you enjoy approval that's laden, full of, abundant with the blessings of the Lord. And then some of your offspring will be like Benjamin and will be, be shielded all day long and rest on the Lord's shoulders. So you could speak to one of your children. May you be like Benjamin and be shielded all day long and rest on the shoulders of the Lord. Other children who you parent or who you love, you can say that they will draw from the wealth of the seas and the hidden treasures of the land. So you could say to that child, may you draw from the wealth of the seas and the hidden treasures of the Lord. I really hope that you will do this activity, this exercise. And one thing about our seeds is that we need to water them. So speak these benedictions over your children multiple times, and it will really begin to take root. One of the things that I really love about Jewish families, and I definitely consider myself a Hebrew by my faith um, in the promises of Abraham belonging to me now because the Gentiles have been grafted in. But uh, they speak on Fridays, wonderful benedictions over their children regarding their health and wealth and other matters. And then they arise and that child as an adult, and even before that, begins to bear the fruit of those benedictions. And of course, they've had a lot of time to build their faith in what is spoken over them. So I know that a lot of us like to give our children really creative names and uh, we like to pray over them and pray for them and teach them to pray. But consider adding positive benedictions over your children and possibly even giving them names 
that have a biblical meaning. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. God bless you.